call this part five. Uh, this is the uh, diagram schematic I use to uh, assemble my control board. Uh, I can't get a real good close up on it. I tried, but it doesn't work too well. But if you go to uh, just C Curtis Controllers 1205 uh, 2436 volt, uh, you will find the schematic. Now this is this one here is made for a two pole motor, uh, which is the Minn Kota 101 or any 12 volt motor that's got just a positive and a negative wire, red and black. They do make them for the four pole, which is uh, for like the golf cart motors. But, uh, just the only thing I can tell you is uh, just make sure that when you're putting the uh, diodes on the uh, Albright switches that you make sure you get the direction right on them. That keeps uh, chatter on them. And uh, also uh, when we uh, when I built this thing and hooked it up, uh, I didn't actually hook it up to a motor. I just hooked it up uh, and put my voltage meter on it. <laughs> it didn't do anything. I kept pressing the uh, switch on it. Uh, the variable speed switch, it did nothing. So I went back through the whole thing again. And didn't find anything wrong. Had a buddy of mine come over. He's electronic whiz. He checked it all in and said, no, it seems right. So we, we actually hooked a motor up to it and it worked fine. <laughs> so uh, it needs resistance to work. So uh, if you put it all together and it doesn't get any voltage, well, make sure you got a motor hooked up to it. Uh, saves you a lot of time and effort. I probably spent three or four hours extra doing that. That's about it.